What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today is January 19th of 2019. I just got back from Mexico yesterday in the big snowpocalypse. They keep calling it. I'm watching the Weather Channel. The snowpocalypse has been going on. If you guys kind of want some kind of reference point into the future, if you guys are looking at this video. Uh, but I hope I'm not too far out in, with what I'm going to talk about today. Because last week I was in Mexico City. I seen this come across. And I kind of like what... I'll admit, I kind of like the hire. Uh, Josh Gaddis becomes the Michigan offensive coordinator. I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it because you guys know I'm a big Michigan fan, uh, college football fan in general, but I mostly stick to Michigan. And I kind of just wanted to give my quick points on here. It's not going to be a very long video. Um, so I'm just kind of, kind of just go ahead and get right in here. Uh, I did some research on YouTube and a little bit on Wikipedia, which there wasn't really a whole lot on Wikipedia. It just kind of showed us coaching accolades which I'm going to go through just a little bit here. Uh, first, he started at Western Michigan, being the wide receivers coach. Uh, he had an All-American. I think it was Josh White, and I didn't write that down here, but I think it's Josh White uh, who he coached there. And then the next year, he went to Vanderbilt as a wide receivers coach. And then in 2014, which probably was what most people uh, recognize him for, was he was a wide receivers coach at Penn State. After the Sandusky and Paterno kind of the – child molestation scandal after all that kind of cleared and whatnot, he was able to get that help get that program back up and on its feet. Uh, and you guys know about Saquon Barkley. Uh, he's the most memorable, well, at least to me, uh, he was he was the he was a beast. He's even a beast in the NFL, but he was a man among boys there when he was at Penn State, kind of crashing through everybody, getting yards after carries and or yards after first contact and all that sort of stuff. So you guys should know about Saquon Barkley. He was he was detrimental with getting the quarterbacks and the wide receivers on the same page, even though he was the wide receivers coach at Penn State. Um, then Alabama came calling, and he at that point he got his first taste of being a offensive coordinator. He was a co-offensive coordinator, plus he was a, um, hired to take over the wide receivers coaching duties. So you guys know about his wide receiver, his accolades at the, being a wide receiver at Western Michigan, Vanderbilt, Penn State, and now Alabama. Now he's going to be the man at Michigan, being the offensive coordinator. I hope he can transition some of that, uh, what he's learned being a wide receivers coach, over to being an offensive coordinators coach. A couple of people I watch on YouTube, I don't, I think uh, Michigan 1777, and I think it's the Pool Show and Michigan Podcast with Steve uh, Dice. Dice, I, I can never remember how to pronounce his name, but anyway, I watch all three of those guys about Michigan football, and they all seem kind of pretty, you know, I want to say cautiously optimistic, and I'm going to probably put myself into there too. Um, I think Jim Harbaugh recognizes that the offense needs a little bit more spice to it, maybe a little bit more being more dynamic, maybe do run pass a little bit more instead of, I think Jim Harbaugh, to me, when he was the play calling, when he was doing the play calling, he was kind of more like run, 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 and kind of got too far into it when, when the score was down. Then he kind of realized, oh, now we got to come back. And at that point, it was just too far into the game to start passing the ball. I think Josh Gaddis will probably do a little bit more run pass, maybe play action, hopefully maybe do some bootlegs for um, the coaching staff, or the coaching staff, the wide receiver, jeez, <laughs> the quarterbacks, there we go. I'll help the quarterbacks maybe do a little bit of bootlegs. I'm not the biggest fan. Me and my buddy were kind of talking about it uh, on our way back from Mexico City from De from the Detroit airport. We're, he wasn't the biggest fan of Shea Patterson. And I, to me, I kind of agree with it a little bit. I would like to see maybe a little bit more mobile quarterback. I like McCaffrey. I think McCaffrey should probably get uh, some more time other than Patterson does. Maybe within the first two games of the season and kind of make your decision based on the Army game, and I think there's one other kind of game in there that kind of you can probably, Middle Tennessee, I think, is who we played. I, I'm just kind of going off of memory here. But maybe those two games, you could probably throw those two guys in there and kind of see what you're getting. Uh, assuming McCaffrey's coming back and he's going to be 100% full and healthy. Um, I, I do like the hire. I do not want to see Jim Harbaugh take the, <laughs> I don't want to see Jim Harbaugh take the, take the coaching reins uh, and be the offensive play caller and kind of going right back to that three yards in a cloud of dust of the Bo Schimbeckler kind of era. I think that, I think he's tried and tried and tried to pound that 
concept into the players, and I just don't think it's working with this day and age of college football, and you could even make a case for even professional football going on to the next level, that that concept just does not work unless you have the players there and have the talent of the players to do what you want to do. But I would like to see a little bit more of a spread offense, uh, be more dynamic, do some things that normally Michigan football wouldn't do, kind of give a little bit of spice and kind of a little bit of a flavor to it. I know other people, the three people that I mentioned, kind of mentioned that as well. Uh, I don't want to be paraphrasing and saying that's what they said, but I kind of got that from them, from those three individuals that I kind of want to see that. And I think Josh Gaddis is probably the right person to get to get the most out of the wide receivers and hopefully the most out of the running backs, the quarterbacks, the offensive line, tight ends, all that sort of stuff. Hopefully you can bring that group together and kind of bring Michigan football up to the next level. And that's pretty much all I've got here, guys. I've been rambling on for about six minutes now. I don't know if I'm going to be editing this video here or whatnot, but I'm cautiously optimistic. But if Jim Harbaugh is going to take over the play calling duties, and just have Gaddis be the offensive coordinator making that higher, then this was pretty much just moot. And then Josh is just going to be a figurehead, which I do not want to see at Michigan. And if that happens, I'm going to be pretty upset because I think we've squandered a great opportunity to have Josh do the play calling opportunities. And I think he can get us to where we need to be. So guys, let me know what you guys think of this video. Go ahead and put it down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell notification for more videos just like this one. Guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.